Hi everyone, my name is Tana and I'm a virtual intern in Camp Aransas Zoo this summer, which pretty much means that I get to work with the awesome team in Texas while staying here in Georgia. Thanks so much for tuning in to today's The Good Times Never End activity session. Don't forget to ask an adult for permission before you do today's art activity. So today we're going to be making broccoli stamp trees and this is what it will look like. This is one I did earlier as kind of an example of our finished product. So our goal for this activity is to improve self-confidence, learn more about nature, and improve our creative skills through art expression. For this activity, you'll be needing paper, broccoli, some paint colors of your choice, some paint brushes, a water cup to rinse off your paint brushes, and a pen because we'll be signing our artwork when we're done. So before we begin, you should set up your supplies outside or somewhere you don't mind getting creative with paint. For example, I laid down some newspaper just to make cleanup a little easier so I don't really have to worry about whether I get a little messy whenever I'm painting. So our first step is to choose some colors of your choice. Maybe you want to do a spring color tree like I did earlier and want some pinks and purples and reds or maybe you want to do a fall tree like I'm about to do and get some browns and reds and orange and yellow maybe or you just want to do your favorite colors, whatever that may be. Um, just choose whatever colors you want as your leaves on your tree. After putting your colors on your plate or palette, you can begin by painting the trunk and branches of your tree, as seen here. I chose some different fall colors, like orange, yellow, brown, and white. But as stated earlier, you can choose whatever colors you want. Next, I took a piece of broccoli and I dipped it in the white paint to create clouds behind my tree. Once you're finished with your clouds, you can take a new piece of broccoli and dip it in the colors that you chose and create leaves for your tree. After you're finished with the leaves of your tree, you can add other aspects to your painting like grass, animals, or flowers. I added grass and a pumpkin to this fall themed tree, as you can see. And once I was done, I signed my name at the bottom, as I encourage you to do. You can even display it anywhere in your house with the help of an adult for all to see. You can even create a tree for each of the four seasons of the year, winter, spring, summer, and autumn. You can also ask your friends and family to get involved by using a larger piece of paper and making a whole forest of broccoli stamp trees. Once you're finished, don't forget to clean up after yourself. Thanks again for tuning in. Camp Aranza Zoo misses you so much and hopes you're having a great summer. Don't forget to post a picture or a video of the activity we did today and tag us. You can reach out to us and tell us what goals you met, or maybe you learned something new in today's activity, we would love to know. And be sure to check out our virtual activities page on our website in order to stay up to date to our latest activity sessions. Bye everyone!